Well, he walked away from the NFL to pursue a career in music. Nathan Palmer started playing the drums in church when he was only four years old. And now he's looking to be an idol to others looking to break into the music world. Nathan Palmer, who also goes by Napalm, <laughs> joins us now to talk about the release of his new album, Therapy. And it's exciting to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Denise. So let me get this right. Okay. Yeah. You're in the NFL. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're you're on the Broncos. You're a wide <laughs> receiver. You're doing awesome. And you walk away from your NFL to decide to become <laughs> a singer, an artist. Yeah. Was that nerve wracking? Why did you decide to do yeah. that? It's definitely nervous. Um, I decided, you know, to follow my passion, my heart. You know, um, funny story I tell is uh, during the Super Bowl, the first Super Bowl that we ended up losing, instead of me going in at halftime, I was watching Bruno. Bruno time. Mars? Yeah, I was you? watching Bruno, so that was like the moment I kind of knew that, all right, this is what I really want to do. This Good is where my heart's at. So. Well, you're blessed because people Definitely. work all their lives to make it to the NFL. Definitely. And then you're, that God said, I'm just going to bless him with oh, singing yeah. and, 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 you oh, know, yeah. being an artist, too. No, definitely. You mentioned one Super Bowl, but you were on the team for two Super Bowls. Yes, I, I got, actually, I got cut right before the second Super Bowl, so I didn't get to experience that one. Oh, well, that's I know, okay. that's the awe moment, but I was there in spirit with a lot of the guys. Good. My picture was actually up as one of the, the wall pictures that they had in the hotel, so it was pretty cool. I was kind of there, spirit. So. What was it like watching this year's season? It was rough. Yeah. It was rough. You know, I'm still close with a lot of the guys. You know, uh, DT Emmanuel, those guys are real cool friends of mine. So to watch them kind of go through the battles, you know, the quarterback battles, the downtime, not not winning the close games like we normally do, it was very rough to watch those guys do that. Okay, let's get back to the music career. Yeah. You're, he's really good. He's going <laughs> to perform for us here in just a few minutes. But what has it been like pursuing that music career? Uh, it's been a journey. You know, it's been a journey in uh, therapy, which is out today. Um, it talks a lot about that journey. Um, me finding myself after football. Football was such a big part of my life for, uh, I don't know how many years, over 10 years. And uh, just to kind of take that leap of faith and be like, you know, I, I'm going to go chase my, my heart and my passion. Mm -hmm. That's, it's definitely nerve-wracking, but it's been amazing. Uh, I wouldn't trade any experience for the world. That's what life's about. You oh, have yeah. to pursue your passion. Exactly. You only get to do it once, right? Exactly. Okay, I heard a little rumor, and I don't know <laughs> if you can tell me or not, but but yeah. is it true you tried out for American Idol? Uh, I definitely tried out for a competitive show. Ah, did you get a golden ticket? <laughs> I definitely got a golden ticket, but you know what? We'll, you did? We'll see, you did? We'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, my God. We'll see what happens. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, Congratulations. We'll thank, you, thank you so much. I was going to say, look at me in my eyes when you lie to me, because I didn't think you were going to tell me about the golden no, ticket. No, but, I got, oh, I got, my gosh. I definitely got a golden ticket. That is so exciting. I definitely got a golden Last ticket. Last month, you actually had the experience to play at the Bluebird, which yes. is an amazing theater. It's yes. so intimate yes. and just legendary. Yes, I love the Bluebird. Uh, the first show that I actually did in Denver while I was still playing with the uh, Broncos was at the Bluebird. So to go full circle, to be um, going from opening for someone, I was the first guy that went on stage when I went about three years ago, and then now I uh, headline my own show. Um, so it, it was definitely a blessing. Shout out to my team, you know, my managers and everything, and uh, Top Flight Empire. Uh, they definitely helped me put that together. So it was a lot of work. And I, I just want to mention, again, you can get his new album, Therapy. Yes. It's out today. How do I get it's it? It's out today. Um, iTunes, all digital platforms. Uh, okay. You can go to my website, realnapalm.com, and uh, I have it up there for you to listen to. SoundCloud is Real Napalm. Describe your music. I mean, you said you were watching Bruno Mars. Yeah. Look at, what's your music like? Uh, I call it rock and B. Rock and B. Rock and B. That's that's the way that I. Uh, it's, it's soulful, um, but I definitely have. Once I've studied music a lot, I've kind of ventured off into the rock elements. I've studied a lot of guys like Miguel, like, like um, yeah, so many people. Um, but you know, I work radio too. Are you serious? Yeah. Really? So you're just gonna have oh, to follow me over to, to the talk, radio station. <laughs> we definitely going to talk. <laughs> right after follow, this, I head over. We're going over there after this. <laughs> <laughs> but you've opened some for really amazing um, stars yeah, and, and established already. Talk been about blessed. some of the, the artists that you've opened. Uh, for. One of my biggest. Uh, opening acts that I've done is uh, definitely Trey Songs. Um, he's been like a mentor, a big brother in the game for me uh, for a long time. Uh, I've opened up for Drake. I've opened up for Soulja Boy back in the day. Uh, I worked with Kehlani uh, a little bit here and there. So um, it's definitely been a great experience to open up for these people. And I've learned a lot doing that. And I definitely got over the stage fright. So it's a little different when you don't have a helmet on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Getting up on <laughs> stage and performing. Definitely. And can you dance? Are you a good dancer uh, too? I'm, uh, yeah, you know, I got a little something. Oh, come on. Hey. Come on, get up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know I what? <laughs> when you're going to be selling out like the Pepsi Center, I'm going to show this back on the show. Me like oh, yeah. doing the sway. Doing the sway. <laughs> we got to make a boomerang. Oh my God, right. my booty's so big, I moved my chair. Sorry, people. <laughs>
That's embarrassing. So did you get to stay home for the holidays? I did. I actually stayed I stayed here. I didn't get to travel back home. My family's back in Indiana right now. So um, I partner with a, a local dispensary, the Dab Company by Next Harvest. And uh, we have a second Sunday service thing that we do. So Aww. I spent my, my holiday giving back. Very and, nice. And that was one of my goals for 2018 is I just want to give back more. So That's very, pay yeah. it forward in life. And to. you know what? As have a mom to. of two teenage boys, I appreciate that. Uh -oh. Because they are going to look at someone like you and follow in your footsteps well, I thank you, you know be an inspiration thank that's great thank okay let's talk about how you started making your music where do you get your inspiration from uh man I literally just sit there and listen to oh the oh my god is that you in diapers <laughs> <laughs> yes yes how cute yeah that's me back in the day front yard singing all the neighbors used to tell me to shut up there you are with your microphone yeah that's my brother right there Aww. that's the guy that pushes me a lot does he really yeah, he helps 10 you years older, Yeah, 10 that's years older wonderful. than me, so. And you're a drummer. Yeah, I, I, that's where I started. Um, age four, that's my church. I grew up, I was like the church baby that grew up from being born in my mom's stomach to, to leaving for college and stuff like that, so. What's the first song you remember, like, singing? Or right there at that picture, what song What's the do you first think song? you would be singing right there? Uh, Dance With My Father by... Uh, oh, Luther Vandross? Yes. Oh, my gosh, I love that song. <laughs> That tears me up every time every I hear time. it. And I have my dad, so it's, you you? Know, yeah, I love my dad. Um, my father's a great guy. I have a song on there about him. We had a little rough patch, but now we're good. But that, I love my dad. And that song, even when I was little, used to evoke emotion in me. It, so. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear you next. I appreciate it. He's going to sing with us. Stay with us, because when we come right back, Napalm will perform a song off his debut album, Therapy. Now, again, it's available today on iTunes. And you can learn more on his website at realnapalm.com. He's also on social media. On Facebook, find him at RealNapalm13. On Twitter and Instagram, follow him at RealNapalm. And listen to his music on YouTube by his channel. It's Blazer534. Blazer534. Napalm performs in two minutes. Stay with us. Very nice. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Colorado and Company. Now here with One Way to L.A. from his debut album, Therapy, it's Napalm. what the silly life brings telling me what all these city lights mean city of angels with a lost dream same ashes on my blue jeans can't wash them off with a new flame cause I got you on my mental and that's something I won't get into cause right now she's doing all the right things she ain't you but girl believe me I know I said I'd always love you, but the city of angels need my love too. One way on a Tuesday, in arms on a Wednesday, first kiss on Thursday, it makes me love on Friday. She say I love you on Saturday, I said I love you on Sunday. Credit all on Monday. Now I'm back on a one way. With the same ashes on my blue jeans. Can't wash them off with a new fling. Uh, Cause I got you on my mental. That's something I won't get into. Cause you're the only one that really means some. But she's around when I need some. Giving me everything and then some. But you got my heart for a ransom. Same as was on my blue jeans. Thank you. 
my gosh, that was amazing. I appreciate that, can, appreciate can that. Can I just tell you, John Elway, thank you for cutting him because <laughs> we just yeah. got this in our life now, yeah. Nate Palm. Appreciate you, John. Thank That's you. one way to LA, right? Yes, one way And to it's LA. on your new album that just dropped today. Therapy. Therapy it's on iTunes. Everywhere, everywhere right now. Plus he made American Idol. I don't know how far he's gonna go, <laughs> I can't tell you. I do have to ask one thing. Yes, okay, the mom mode's coming out in me. Okay, yes. Can you bend down your head? Yeah. What the heck? Did that hurt? <laughs> That's a big tattoo. Turn around, too. Yeah, I'm going to take this Can off. Can you take for it you. off? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did it's that a, hurt? It's actually the album cover. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of album cover. It's a it's a little thing on the, on there. Yeah. That See, is they got the so skull neat. up there. Um, Gracie Basie is a person that did this for me. She's an artist. And this is actually a henna tattoo. Oh, it is. Okay, so, so it's I, not. I knew the mom was going to come out with my mom. <laughs> yeah. So I'm kind of easing her into it the same way I got the rest of my tattoos. You know, oh, just okay. put the fake ones up there for a little and then bam, it's just real. So. Oh my gosh, you are <laughs> awesome. And I am so you happy. You are awesome. Thank you Thank guys you. for bringing me and having me on. No, here. I hope you come back again. I will. I definitely because will. Because I have a feeling you're not going to be spending any more days in Denver very often. So I thank you and God that. bless thank you. you. Yes. God bless you too. And thank you. Uh, John Elway again. <laughs> Napalm's debut album, Therapy. It's available today on iTunes. You can learn more on his website at realnapalm.com. And again, he's also on social media, on Facebook, find him at realnapalm13, and on Twitter and Instagram, follow him at realnapalm. Listen to his music on YouTube and, of course, his channel, Blazer 534.